And we're live. Hey guys, Dirt here, and I've got something kind of fun and funky to talk about today on our live stream. We're doing a review of something called App Dudes. Now let me just show you here real quick. It's behind me in the photo tent. App Dudes is a cell phone charger stand. And as you can see, what we have here is Iron Man. They make an Iron Man and they make a Captain America. And basically, you take your cell phone, you slide it inside, and it becomes the interactive face of the character that you're uh, playing with, either Iron Man or Captain America. Now, in the name of full disclosure, this was sent to us for review by Toy Island. However, no one has paid for this review. All opinions are my own, and no one is reviewing this content before it goes online, obviously because this is live. So let's hop back over in the tent and take a look here at Iron Man. And you can see what we have here is basically a big plastic shell, a big body that he comes in. And the box is, it's actually open. There's no uh, plastic here. So you can just reach right in, touch them, get a feel for them. Uh, on the back here, you can just see the basic idea that it's got a slot in the back where you can hook up the uh, charger in there and help you pull the thing in and out. Works uh, Android and iPhone, although, uh, you know, sorry, Windows phone users, so you're not going to get much out of it. Um, alarm clock, tilting, random phrases, interactive phrases. Um, now, this says it works with, let me see if I can get this to show up here on the camera, compatible with iPhone 5, 5S, SE, 6, 6S, Samsung Galaxy S5, S6, and 6, uh, S6 Edge. Now, that's all it says. It does say you can go to the website and look to see if there are more um, compatible phones, but we'll talk about that here in a second. We do have an iPhone here. Uh, it's one of the smaller ones. It's also upside down. There we go. Uh, and uh, basically, it becomes the face that works with your interactive character. So let's open this box real quick. And we'll pull uh, our little buddy out here. And it does come with a little page of instructions just in case you need it. But, I mean, if you're watching this live stream, you can probably figure it out on your own. Uh, you've got a little cardboard Iron Man face there in case you want to you know play with that somewhere else i don't know all right now um the iphone is a bit smaller than some of the other phones now i use an lg phone a uh, bigger one um they had they were one of the first to come out with these big screen type phones and i've been sticking with them for a couple hardware generations this is not on the list as being a compatible phone however it is compatible uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, the iPhone uh, that you can see here, because it's a little bit smaller, they do include this accessory piece. And it's basically an extra little chin piece that you can put in. So when you slide in your phone, uh, it doesn't drop all the way down. And when you go into the phone in the settings for when the screen comes up, you can actually uh, change the screen size and play with the settings a little bit to get the best fit for your particular guy. However, uh, the rest of this is just a plastic shell. So like this right here is not actually an interactive button. It doesn't do anything on the phone. Uh, that's just his uh, you know, repulsor thing, whatever. That's always in the middle of his chest. Um, and you can see that there are some little details uh, throughout. So it's not just a plain plastic shell. They have painted uh, some details on there. And it does have little rubber grippy uh, feet on there that, that, you know, help to hold it in place. So when this is sitting on your desk, it's not going to be knocking over because it it's top heavy or anything like that. It will hold pretty well. All right. So taking this little iPhone out, taking out this piece, uh, if we can get a look right inside here, you can see there's a little piece of curved plastic and this actually adds tension to your phone pushing your phone forward up against the edge of the opening uh, so that there's no dead space in between all right now let's talk about uh using my phone here for just a second my phone has a little bit of a curve to it i don't know if you can see that on here uh, but it's not flat it's got a curve so i wondered if it actually would be able to work in there and and it does um press it through the tension. The tension's a little bit greater, I think, than it would be on one of the other phones. But otherwise, it can go right in. And when we start up the app, oh, well, there's my screen. Okay. Uh, there's the app. 
we've got full mode, sleep mode, and set alarm. So obviously set alarm, I think you understand. You would put a particular date and time if you wanted to have this maybe sitting next to you on the nightstand or you had an appointment later in the day, you wanted to set an alarm, it would wake up at that particular time and you know say a message to you of what's going on. Uh, sleep mode, only the alarm clock features are active. Iron Man will say a good night phrase and the uh, screen will go dim. So that's for nighttime. You put that on, it's not going to do anything else other than wake you up when the alarm comes on. The rest of the time, or the time when you're using full mode, it does this. So you see you have a cartoon face that's inside here. Now, this is Iron Man. Again, they also make a Captain America one. Um, and it does have some interactive phrases. Now, I'm going to take off my headset here, move the microphone closer. You happy now? You happy now? Okay, this is where I don't want to be. So as you move him around, he'll say things like, hey, be careful with the merchandise. Um, hey, let's go over here because you pick him up and move him around. When he's just sitting there, he'll say things like, um, um, I know what, how great a genius I am. Um, different things. You can see the heads-up display will show on the screen. So when he's, whenever you watch the movies and he's in there, um, and he's you know looking around talking to Jarvis, you can see some of those things pop up on the animation. Um, and uh, sometimes the face mask will actually close down, and so you'll have the big yellow, like we see in this piece of artwork here, uh, the big yellow, you know, face mask pops into place and covers it up. Now, honestly. This just looks neat. Um, it's a little, it's a little cumbersome if you're trying to reply to a text or read an email or something like that that your phone would do. But um, for instance, I wear a smartwatch uh, that connects to the phone, so I can actually see my notifications coming from the phone. I can reply to them on the watch. So in that type of situation, the fact that he's covered up here doesn't really cause a problem. I can still. Uh, uh, act and react to things on my phone because I've got the smartwatch available. So I can plug him in uh, to let him charge, let it sit here with this screen. Now you may be sitting there thinking, hey, he's not talking very much. Well, that's because in these settings, you can actually talk about how, uh, uh, put in a setting of how often you want him talking. Random phrases, speak every 30 seconds, speak every five minutes. Um, you know, how high you want the volume, uh, adjusting the screen, all of those things are available to you here. So if you want him to talk a lot because you really want an interactive Tony Stark, you know, sitting here and bugging you all the time, you can have it so it's basically talking nonstop. I've set it so that it only speaks uh, every few minutes. So if I just have it sitting there on my shelf, it's really not going to be distracting it's not going to get in the way of anything but it'll still make noise it'll still talk every so often it'll still do a little joke a little quip uh something kind of neat and funny um what stands out to me though is how good the animation looks on this uh i'm i'm really kind of impressed at how well um the face is animated um how it's constantly moving and looking around like thinking um it looks well animated like an animated cartoon and i think that's really a nice feature of it uh it looks engaging it looks fun it looks like something you want to touch and play with and it and it makes it uh, you know as a toy as an interactive toy it adds uh you know a certain level of immersion into it with the way it acts and it speaks now as far as the shell goes there's not much to it the arms don't move yeah the arms don't move the feet don't move uh, none of this stuff actually does anything. It's just there to make it look cooler. It really is built with the idea of being a, a stand, um, a charger. Like it just sits on your shelf, and maybe you interact with it, maybe you don't, but it's just going to be there for doing that stuff. But overall, I think it is a really neat product. Now, these are available on Amazon. They run about 20 bucks, um, which may seem a little high for a cell phone stand charger, uh, but the fact that it is interactive, the fact that it you know can do some extra things, I think really adds to the value of it uh, and really makes it for a super fun 
toy. Now, of course, the only problem that you have to deal with is these are Marvel characters. Where's Superman? Where's Batman? Come on. These are the characters that people want. All right, whatever. Uh, let's not get into that fanboyism. But anyway, neat toy. And I want to thank Toy Island for sending uh, sending it to us so we could check it out here today on the live stream. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. And I'll see you next time.